it do, fam? This is your man, Eli B, here with Our Contingency LLC, and this is our Communications Corner. So today what we're going to do is give a brief overview of some of the alternate forms of communication that we have available to ourselves, the, the general public, right? Uh, so with that being said, why should we have um, an alternate form of communication? Well, in light of all that's going on in the world today, uh, why not? That's the question, right? So, uh, with all that behind us, man, let's just jump right into it, right? So, what we have here um, on the bottom right is a pair of Cobra regular walkie-talkies. Now, these uh, walkie-talkies were purchased, uh, I believe at Best Buy, right? Uh, they were fairly cheap. Now, the purpose of these is for close distance or close range communications, you know, in and out of a neighborhood. Uh, I wouldn't try any more than 100 yards, um, so don't be fooled by the label on the box, which oftentimes will tell you, you know, 10 to 15 miles out. That's not happening, right? So like I said, with the, with the walkie-talkies, the regular walkie-talkies at the bottom right, the red and the green pair, I mean the red and the gray pair, I apologize, um, the distance is not that great, but if that's all you can get, for alternate communication, then so be it. Now, immediately above uh, those, we have a pair of Midland GXTs, and these are GM GMRS radios, right? Now, GMRS radios do have a a um, range of two to three miles. This is what I've gotten out of them, right? Uh, and that's also based on uh, you know the setting, whether you have mountains, trees. Uh, buildings, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Now, GMRS radios do require a license, and the license is only seventy dollars, right? And all you have to do is fill out the paperwork, send it in, send your money, and you and your whole family is licensed, right? So that's the pro of having GMRS. Now, the other pro of having GM GMRS is that they have the ability to access what's called repeaters. Now, these repeaters uh, significantly boost the range or the distance of your communications. So that is critical. Uh, now, uh, moving on into the ham radio, which is in the middle at the top and on the far left at the top. Now, at the middle on the top, we have a uh, TYT, I believe, uh, 9800, right? And this is a mobile ham radio. Uh, and on the far left at the top, we have a uh, Belfang UV5R. Now, the good thing about the ham radios is that you can reach out regionally or across the country. And in some cases, with the FH, uh, the HF radios, which I do not have present, uh, you can you can communicate uh, across the world, right? So now with these radios, they do require a license. Now they don't require a license for you to purchase them or monitor what's going on, right? But uh, a license is good because even in the, the license of the test while you're studying, right, um, you are learning a lot of good critical information about, uh, you know, the usages and, and, and the theories behind ham radios, right? So, uh, like I said, man, ham radio is uh, my go-to choice for communications uh, when, it's, when it's trying to stay connected. Uh, now, like I say, the uh, you take the, the take the test, uh, you receive the license, uh, and now you get you a call sign, which allows you to legally communicate. Now, it has been said that in the time of emergency, um, no license is required. But like I said, man, you do want to uh, get familiar with the products um, and uh, learn as much as you can. Uh, join some clubs, um, you know, create your own club, right? Now, with the UV5R on the far left, I uh, have an upgraded antenna, which significantly boosts uh, the, uh, the radius for your communications. Now, these radios also allow for you to connect to repeaters. Like I said, and these repeaters uh, boost your signal, your communication, uh, from 50 to 100 miles and better, right? So it just depends on your setup, uh, your pockets. Uh, because this is an expensive uh, craft to get into, but these radios that I have uh, present were fairly inexpensive. Uh, the UV5R on the far left 
uh, I believe I purchased on Amazon for maybe 35 40 bucks so like I say this is not hard to get into uh, you your friends your family you purchase these radios uh, and you will be able to communicate with each other uh, when communications are down now the bottom left uh, I have what's called a shortwave radio right now it's a test gun I believe and this is a it's not a uh, communications it's more for Intel right because these radios can pick up broadcasts from all over the world right Russia Ukraine uh, Africa Europe wherever you would like to um, you know listen to a broadcast they can pick up those signals so this is very good uh, when it comes to Intel so uh, I think I purchased this on Amazon for maybe uh, I can't remember I think between 50 and 75 bucks and it may be even cheaper than that so like I said man just a brief overview of alternate communications uh, this is Eli B with our contingency LLC stay ready I got a contingency I got a contingency